Okay, we are checking out Copper Lake, and this is known as Pier 1. We are on fishing off Pier 1, which is, of course, 5660. Uh, it's called Pier 1 because it was the first of these sort of docks that uh, really took off when Copper Lake first came out. And uh, we've caught a couple fish here just to make sure it was active before I started recording. And a couple of nice fish, actually. Uh, a leather and a F1. This is, we'd love to see more of that. So it'll just be interesting to see what the bite rate's like. Can we go 500 silver, more than that even? Uh, we'll see. We're doing the double pellets uh, with a spicy halibut. This isn't actually the recommended PVA these days for halibut pellets. People are using similar to this, but they're using um, uh, crab instead of the mini halibut. But I've still got some PVA that I made, you know, a week or two ago when this some of this first started. So I'm just kind of using up what I have because I don't think it actually would make that much of a difference. If you are wondering, I'm also doing a test on cozy with um without pva and we'll see how that goes I'm, I'm using this same setup without pva on two of the rods and then on one of them i'm actually using um leeches see if leeches are still working on f1s i don't i don't actually know if they are or not so i thought i would test that what is this you know, after that leather, if we're going to get a bunch of larger fish, I'm going to be awfully tempted to switch to our feeder rods instead of our pickers. But we'll give it a little more time. I, was, I guess I was thinking that maybe we would have more of a like F1-centric fishing time, but this is a dinks, and it's a decent dinks. Now, it looks like we might ultimately be able to get him in right now, but much bigger and we would want to be using feeders for sure the question is is this actually a linear which would be amazing i believe it is that is a really nice linear we will take that and at least for now we'll stay on we will stay on the um the pickers I'm surprised though, so far we've got two species, the linear and the leather, that if we're gonna have a lot of those, yeah, we'd, we'd rather be on the feeder. So let's see how this goes, how this plays out. Oh, is that another little... I was about to say, surely that's a mirror. Ooh, nice little F1. Okay, so let's see what we think so far. Now remember, there are times that F1s can continue like throughout the day and you can sort of sneakily 
put together a decent a decent net now we also are hoping to see the occasional orangey or something like that and we just haven't seen any yet but obviously this is this isn't great 16 16 minutes we've only got these fish the quality of the fish aren't bad but the quantity is a little a little a little um underwhelming so we'll see we'll see if it picks up Oh, there it is. All right, so we know it's possible. There's the orangey. Obviously, it's not the size that we want, but it's an orangey. All right, a couple of really nice F1s in a row. So, so far, looking somewhat promising now that it's daytime. Another leather, two of them now. Interesting. We have reduced temperatures, by the way. I'm just noticing this because I didn't even think about checking the temperatures. So a lot of times reduced temperatures, and actually any variation in temperature, sometimes it means that the quality of the fish can still be really good, but it does typically mean the quantity changes and often slows down a little bit, which could be why we're seeing 10 fish in 23 minutes. Uh, but again, quality wise, it's still pretty good. I didn't even notice the temperature change though. Um, it definitely, copper for sure is affected by these temperature changes, but it doesn't mean not to fish here. It just means to keep in mind that things may be a little different. And as slow as things are with PVA, with the reduced temperatures, fishing with just ground bait and no PVA is very slow. One thing I will say, this seems to be the case at least from the tests that I've done on Cozy. Okay, so for, for dinks, we're two for two on linear. That's interesting. Hmm. And that's three leathers. 
and that's almost 30 minutes. Probably will fish for a little bit longer. I don't know if we'll make full hour, but I'm just curious. Let's just see kind of what this looks like. Just over 500 silver average right now. How much time do we have on this? Oh, so much time. We could get this one. Ooh, that's nice. 26 for one little one little um common i don't think i said this we are at 10 meter clip which is very much the standard clip for this spot well i fished 12 clip here plenty of times too but mostly 10. i think we've done eight too i mean so i shouldn't say it's standard we are at 10 meter clip. What you want to see at that size is an F1. Mirror. There's an order for that though. It doesn't disappear. How did I don't know. I don't really know that there was a fish on it. I didn't pull that too early. I mean, we'll see. Oh, come on, be an F1. Yes. Nice one. Yeah, you could uh, you could get a trophy F1 right now. F1 feels trophyable at the moment. What are we at? 39 minutes. Such a slow bite rate. Thanks for those reduced temperatures, Coat Copper. But the quality is great. I mean, we're just not catching. We had that one common carp. We had one mirror carp that was less than marker size, and the orangey that was less than marker size. But for the most part. We're catching bangers, so. Uh oh. Okay. I'm not going to finish the, the hour necessarily, but we do want to go till probably dark. So just a few more minutes here.
That's our second common carp of the day. First one we turned in for the cafe order. Another leather. They are here. I think this is a fair place to stop. You know, we could keep going. It, we're not that far away from being at an, at an hour, but it's good. It's just slow. The quality is great. It's just the bite rate is slow. And if you don't have PVA, this is not the setup for you, in my opinion. You need PVA, based on what I'm seeing, to make this worthwhile. Now, with PVA, it probably is worthwhile. We're at 470, plus we've hit some cafes. Uh, and we haven't even completed an hour of fishing yet. So, you know, we're, we're doing pretty good, frankly. Um, but, you know, 500 plus silver, probably 600-ish per hour. Still very good, especially considering we just hit reduced temperatures and we're still figuring out, like, how the adjustments are going to go this time, but let's we'll see if we have a timetable, by the way. Yeah, it's re it's reduced for the foreseeable future today, at least. So you want to look at uh, reports from fishing after after it went reduced. But in the meantime, if you're just like wanting to, to make some decent silver and catch some nice F1s, try to trophy F1. This seems like this seems like a pretty good a pretty good deal right now. Interesting that these um, these leathers are here so much right now. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. Once again, 10 meter clip, 5660, and we've been using the neutral halibut setup. I'll see you next time.